today we're going to be turning seawater into bleach by harnessing the power of sunshine. Uh, make make lightning come out of my hand. Welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, we're going to be turning the bleach into beach. Oh. Today, we're going to be turning the beach into beach. Oh. Today, we're going to be turning the beach into bleach. Now, say that three times fast. Step one, collect ocean water. unless you're really sure what you're doing. And make sure you have adult supervision. Make sure to do this experiment outside in a well-ventilated area. And step two, pour ocean water into the glass. Ocean water contains sodium chloride, which is salt. For this experiment, you're going to need a solar panel, some ocean water or salt water, and two graphite electrodes. You can get these cheaply online. Wish I could say the same thing for the solar panel. The solar panel will have a positive and a negative lead coming from it. So all you have to do is connect the graphite electrodes you saw earlier to the leads and stick it in the salt water. And whatever you do, don't let the two graphite electrodes touch each other when they're plugged into the leads because that will short circuit the entire system. A really easy way to keep them on their own side is to clip it to the glass as well. If you have it all set up correctly, soon you'll see bubbles coming up from the electrodes. At the positive electrode, we are creating chlorine gas since the chloride from the salt loses two electrons. This chlorine gas is what we see bubbling. Some of it will dissolve in the water and become bleach. And at the negative electrode, water molecules are breaking down to create hydrogen gas. The water molecules break down because they gain two electrons. An ode is a lyrical poem. But in science, we have other types of odes, known as anodes and cathodes. And I'm going to sing an ode in honor of the anode, which is the positive electrode. Blah, 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 blah. And this is a cat ode. Meow, 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 meow. And the cathode is the negative electrode. Salt water contains negatively charged chloride ions. Do you see how Eli the Electron is attached to those chloride ions? That means the chloride ions are negatively charged because electrons are negatively charged. The negatively charged chloride ions are attracted to the positively charged anode. And they give up their electrons and become chlorine gas, which you see as bubbles forming on the electrode. The electrons move into the solar panel and get excited from the solar energy they collect from the sunlight. This energy or voltage keeps the electrons moving around the circuit. And then the electrons at the cathode combine with hydrogen from the water to create bubbles of hydrogen gas. This process happens over and over again until you use up all the chloride from the salt. So, at the anode you have oil, and at the cathode you have rig. But what does that mean? Well, oil rig means oxidation is loss, reduction is gain of electrons. So, at the anode you have oxidation of chloride ions, and at the cathode you have reduction of hydrogen ions from the water. 
The chlorine gas dissolves in the water to become bleach. It makes sodium hypochlorite. It actually smells like pool water now. That's because we're generating chlorine and hydrogen. This bubbling will continue until all of the salt is used up. To show you that we really made bleach, I'm going to bleach this black t-shirt. When I dip it in here, some of the color will start disappearing. Already, you can see some of the colors starting to fade out of the black t-shirt. Do you see? The bleach we made actually works. We turn this black shirt into a, well, partially brown shirt. Bleach is used to kill microbes in water. For example, your pool. If you have a pool, then, then it'll probably smell kind of like how the bleach we made it smells. That's because pools have bleach in them to kill all the microbes. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun!